Greetings, Zombie Slayers. Sloopy Jim here. Today I'm bringing you the complete guide on gardening in the Black Ops 3 Zombies map, Zetsubo no Shima. So gardening is very important in this map. Who would have thought back in the day of World at War that we would be running around with seeds and pails of water, planting plants and harvesting them in a Zombies map? But there you go. That's how much things have changed. Anyway, I'm going to be showing you guys each and every plant that you can grow in the map, as well as what it does and how it can be used, and importantly, how you can grow them. So let's start with describing how you actually grow plants in Zetsubo no Shima. First, you need to start with a seed. Seeds are random drops similar to power-ups that drop from zombie kills, and they do drop fairly frequently. So seeds are planted in the circular planting locations found throughout the map. You can click on the planting location to plant the seed, but if left unattended without watering, it will grow into a plant immediately at the start of the next round. This will give you the stunted reward plant. So this plant gives you low tier rewards such as weapons like the starting pistol, or it can give you a troll such as dropping grenades or spawning a zombie in your face. So you are always best to water your plants to get all of the other kinds of more useful plants found in Zetsubo no Shima. In order to water plants, you will need a bucket. The bucket is an item that can be found in random locations around the map. There's usually one in the spawn area, for example. These glow blue and are fairly easy to spot. But once you have a bucket in your inventory, you can go to one of the different water sources found throughout the map and collect the irradiated water. This is special Element 115 infused water that gives it its special growing properties. So the three different water sources found throughout the map have different colored water and this water can be combined or used by itself to water plants in order to get the different plant combinations. So first of all the blue water source is located at the back of lab A underneath a tree. The green water source is found at the back of lab B near the element 115 meteorite. And the purple water is found in the lower level of the bunker in the living quarters. There is a fourth coloured water as well, which I'll talk about later in the video. So let's talk about the different coloured water and how you can use these in different combinations to get the different plants. First of all, we'll start with the blue water. If you water a plant once per round for three consecutive rounds using the blue water only, you will always get a reward plant. This is an upgraded version of the stunted reward plant that we got by planting a seed and then leaving it without watering it. But the regular reward plant gives you the higher level weapons as well as power-ups such as fire cells, even max ammos and things like that. So it's very, very useful and you can usually get one of these grown by about round four or five. So that's three blue water. If you use three green water in a row, once per round, on the fourth round you will grow a crawler keeper plant. These plants will chop off a zombie's legs and then stab it and keep it in place for about five minutes. It will also be able to capture spiders and keep those for you as well. This is an extremely useful plant, which can be used by solo players if you're trying to do steps in the Easter egg where you don't want a zombie harassing you constantly, or even in co-op if you just want to go have a, a break or something like that. Now, if you use three purple water, what you'll get is the, what I call the Venus zombie trap plant. So what this does is it attracts nearby zombies similar to a monkey bomb. It doesn't attract the spider zombies though, but it does attract the thrashes, although the thrashes try to destroy it. After attracting the zombies, what this plant does is it has like a little hand type stamen thing that comes out and it pulls the zombies heads off. It's pretty cool. Now if you use one of each kind of the colored water, for instance blue, green, purple or purple, green, blue, anything like that, the plant that you'll have a chance of getting is the perk fruit plant. So what this does is it gives you a perk as a fruit. So once you pluck the fruit, you'll actually get a free perk and it will usually be electric cherry or deadshot daiquiri. However, if you have the max number of perks in the map, you'll just throw up. Your character will be sick, which is linked to uh, an achievement or a trophy in the map as well. However, you only have around about a 20 or 30% chance of getting the perk fruit plant if you combine all the different colors when you're watering the plant. Uh, if you don't get the perk fruit plant, you'll get one of the other uh, plants selected randomly. 
So those are all of the common plants that you can grow in Zatsubo no Shima, but there's also another ultra rare plant that you can also grow later when you have the KT4 or the upgraded version, the Masamune, which is required in order to grow this plant. So let's talk about what this plant actually does first. I like to call this plant the revive plant. So what this uh, plant looks like is, it kind of looks like a, a blank bearded dude's face. And you can actually go up once this plant has grown and imp imprint yourself onto the plant. So what that does is it creates like a clone of yourself inside of the plant that looks super creepy. But if you die later on in the game, you'll actually kind of be born out of the plant with all of the same weapons, perks, and even points that you had at the time you imprinted yourself onto the plant. So it's even better than Quick Revive in some ways in that it does that for you. And this can even be used to get revived if you've used up all of your Quick Revives already, in uh, Solo, for example. So, how do you grow this uh, revive plant? Well, what you need to do is uh, most people that have got this plant have used the blue water. How I've got this plant, for example, is I've used blue, 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 and I've watered it twice during that time with the Masamune, the upgraded Wonder Weapon, and another time I got it by using purple, blue, green, and then using the KT4 uh, on the third watering session. So that's how I got it, but a lot of people were saying that you get it using the blue water or some combination that uses the blue water, as well as using the KT4 during the watering process. Now it's worth mentioning it as well that you can also upgrade the other plants in that you strengthen their effects if you use the KT4 uh, to water the plant during the growing process as well. And you'll know that it's actually affecting the plant because you have these, these uh, kind of green particle effects around the plant. Okay, so now let's talk about the fourth kind of water that you can find in Zetsubo no Shima. This is often called the rainbow water. It's actually oil, I believe, but it's a combination of the purple, green, and blue all in one bucket. And you can actually get this by going through the sewer system in the map and clicking at the exact time that you pass a tiny little uh, blue element 115 rock so it can be kind of tricky to obtain this rainbow water but you just have to click it at the exact moment that i'll show you in the video right here so what you do to get to this if you're going from inside the bunker what you need to watch for is the two sections of the blue water and just after the second blue water you want to click just as that circular ring that you go through just as you get to that and you should get the rainbow water. So what is this rainbow water used for? Well, it's actually used as part of the upgrade process for the KT4, which requires you to grow a plant that is then used as part of the ingredients for that weapon. So how you use this is, first you need the skull of Nan Sapwe, the special weapon in the map. Once you've obtained that, you need to charge it, and then you need to go down into the living quarters in the bunker. There you'll find, just opposite the purple water location on the wall, a partial poster. And you need to mesmerize this poster using the skull. Once you've mesmerized it, the full poster will appear and the skull will make a screaming sound. Then you need to take the skull and go down into the water tunnels in the bottom of the bunker area. Uh, once you're right down the end where you uh, picked up the plant, that you originally used to craft the KT4 with, opposite where the uh, spore location is where you get oxygen, there's a wall. And what you need to do is mesmerize that wall. And when you mesmerize that, the wall will disappear and reveal a special plant location where you can plant a seed. Now, once you've planted the seed, you need to water that seed with the rainbow water once per round for three consecutive rounds, after which you'll grow a special plant that you can pick and use as an ingredient in upgrading the KT4. The final plant I'll show you guys how to grow is required in order to complete the main Easter egg in the map. To start the process of being able to grow this plant, you need to start the Easter egg by mesmerizing the poster on the wall in the living quarters with the skull of Nan Sapway, as I showed you guys earlier in the video. After you do that, the easter egg will start and you will have a bomber which will start flying overhead in the map. So you need to shoot down the bomber using an AA shell which is obtained from this special plant. 
But in order to grow this plant, what you need to do is use the blue water for three consecutive rounds, watering your seed as well as using the charge shot on the KT4 or the Masamune uh, in the growing process. If you use the charge shot to water the plant between rounds for three consecutive rounds, as well as using the blue water, you will be guaranteed to get the AA shell. If you water the plant using a single shot of the KT4 instead of a charge shot, or you use other combinations of water along with the blue water, you still have a chance for the AA shell plant to grow. It's just a smaller chance than using three blue with fully charged KT4. The final thing I'll show you guys in this gardening guide for Zetsuno no Shima is how to upgrade your bucket in the map to the incredible golden bucket. So this bucket is uh, pretty amazing in that once you pick it up and unlock it, you actually have the ability to carry a limitless amount of whatever water you've picked up. So you can change the water colors at the different water sources as per normal with the golden bucket. But once you've got that water, it will never run out. You'll never have to replenish it. How awesome is that, guys? So I'm going to take you guys through the steps to unlock this golden bucket. First up, you need to have passed your gardening apprenticeship. So that means you need to have grown all of the common plant types that I've shown you in this video. You are not required to have grown the revive plant or any of the Easter egg related plants. So you need to have grown the reward plants, the crawler keeper plant, the perk fruit plant, and the Venus zombie trap plant. So having done that, you need to obtain the skull of Nan Sapway again, make sure it's charged, and head down to the area below Lab B. In this area, you'll be able to use the skull to mesmerize this specific location where some branches are located, and that will reveal a special planter location. Here you need to plant your bucket in order to grow the special gold bucket plant. So once you plant the, the bucket in that planter location, three additional planter locations will appear in the same area. Here you need to plant seeds in each of these three locations, and this will instantly grow three Venus zombie trap plants in those locations. So then all you need to do is wait for those plants to kill a whole bunch of zombies. It actually takes quite a few zombies before they're done. And you can pretty much chill in this area because all of the zombies will be heading to those plants and ignoring you basically. So it's actually uh, kind of cool sitting here watching some plants versus zombies action doing pretty much nothing for a while. Anyway, after they have killed enough zombies, what will happen is your bucket will grow into a special reward plant. And this reward plant will give you the golden bucket. The golden bucket will actually be available for everyone in the squad to pick up at this point. And as I said before, the benefit of it is you can collect water in it and it will have an infinite supply of whichever water you collect. So there you go guys, that is my gardening guide for the map Zetsuno no Shima. I hope this has been helpful for you, I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please remember to leave a like rating and leave a comment letting me know what you think. If you have any questions, you can also hit me up on Twitter, the link is in the description. For now, that's it from me. Thanks for watching, Slippy Jim out.